pitching, we had everybody, the whole staff pitch this weekend. I think we made one error on the weekend, which is uh, always good to see. And uh, really excited about our start. We'll have to dig deep and uh, continue to work hard as we prepare for the conference season. No, Caroline's a special player. This summer I went to see her play uh, summer ball. And every game I went to, she hit a home run. So I was hoping that I was good luck for her, good luck charm. And uh, so she's, she's really smooth at the plate. And when she stays smooth, uh, she can do some damage. Uh, so she had a great weekend, opening weekend. And good to see that for sure. Punches in Silkwood, luck a good bit of innings, especially Friday. Can you talk about how they're coming up? Absolutely. They, you know, wanted to get them out early and get them some innings and uh, get them some looks and where they could build some confidence. I was, I was hoping to get Silkwood in to close this game, but I'll take the run roll. I'm always glad to have that. Uh, but you know, I look. They're gonna have. They have to pitch. They're gonna. They're gonna have to log some innings this year, and we're gonna need both of them. And um, really excited about their start. They both uh, look poised. Uh, they both handle uh, balls and strikes, the umpire calls very well, and uh, it'll be interesting to see when uh, they have some adversity to face, but they handle themselves very well on the mound uh, this opening weekend. It really was. I could not have asked for a better way for our team to come out this weekend. You know, opening weekend's always, you know, kind of a question mark. You're not sure if they're going to be nervous or too amped up, and they were perfect. I mean, we had great offense, we had great defense, and we had great pitching, and when you can get all three of those, you know, it's going to make a coach very happy. Two games in the last 24 hours where you're able to run rule uh, a good Jacksonville State team has to use the confidence now heading into what uh, is going to start to become a, a grind now. you got 48 hours before you play again, been a long road trip, but uh, just a good way to start the year with good performances, but good performances against quality competition as well. I, I would completely agree. I mean, Jacksonville State, they're really well coached. They have a great pitching. Tiffany Harbin, I mean, she's she is a fantastic pitcher on the mound. She she gave us a lot of trouble in the first game yesterday, and our kids did a good job of just making adjustments and just continuing to make her throw a lot of pitches. And then today, struggled early getting on time and then got on time and they just stuck to the plan and did a great job. And then Allison Owen, anytime you know she's on the mound, and our pitchers have done an incredible job. Van has just done an absolute amazing job with them. Because anytime Allison Owen is on the mound, you know, you know she's going to give you everything she's got, and it's going to be tough for the other team to score any runs. Allison Owen gives up the homer in the top of the first yesterday, and then nothing after that. A combined three hits after that home run in the first inning of yesterday's ball game. Yeah, I mean, she's just, she's a fifth year senior. She calls herself, you know, old. I just think she's experienced. She knows that that doesn't, that's not the end of the world if you get hit, and she's just resilient, just relentless. And so, again, she gave up the home run, and all she did was just get tougher and tougher for the rest of the time. Face it, and again, it's tough, and it's, it's kind of the same as in the SEC. You're going to face the same hitters back-to-back -back days, and I think the fact that she faced a really well, good hitting team in Jacksonville State two, two days in a row and just did a phenomenal job of, you know, she didn't have as many strikeouts today, but just got outs, and that's what it's all about, just getting outs. How important was it to put four on the board early today? Huge. Katie Gentle uh, coming in with the bases loaded, pinch hit, went to a full count, fouled some pitches off. I mean, anytime you can come in as a pinch hitter, be on time and be ready to hit, you know, came through with those two huge RBIs with the bases loaded. Could not ask for more. We talk to our kids all the time about being ready to hit. She was up there. She knew she was going to have an opportunity. What a great way to spark it. And then just after that, just kind of rolled through there. But I think she was the major spark right there. They uh, they tried to change up speeds on us from last game. They they came out with a lot slower pitcher than they did um, last game, which kind of threw us off for a little bit. You know, it just takes an inning, uh, you know, try to get the time in after that. You know, you find your timing, you find your groove, and um, that comes with every at bat and extending at bats, so it helps a lot. This guy wasn't, wasn't your home run, he kind of had you do that. You got all of it, didn't you? Yeah, uh, I got a little bit. It was, um, you, you you know, she was kept on jamming me inside, so that was our plan to stay inside on her, and um, she ended up throwing a change up inside. And, 
I was late I, or I was early on it, but since it was inside, you know, I got a, I got around on it pretty good. And um, I heard you know Rachel and them in the dugout trying to pick signs and everything. So total team effort on that. A lot of run production this weekend. What do you kind of take away from this weekend, especially from the offensive side? Uh, feeling good and having the expectation to win. Um, and, you know, no matter if we are down, we had our first comeback victory. Um, so that was good to get under our belt to know that we got a little fight in us and we're going to stay competitive and keep on fighting through it all. So that's uh, that's good to know going into, um, you know, Boca when we go there or even when we go to the SEC conference. We know we can take from this a feel-good kind of uh, tournament and, and uh, just push that momentum towards you know, another win.